We're learning about a police chase in Duluth involving a couple of suspected street racers seen here. Right now, two suspects are in custody after the chase over the weekend. Challenge to Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Matt Johnson's live on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. And Matt, police have seen a string of serious crashes this year right there. That's a very busy area for Gwinnett County. Yeah, and this shows the ongoing problem with speeding and street racing. It was right here where police spotted two drivers racing each other dangerously. And right before a police chase became so dangerous, the police officer had to call it off. The dash cam video shows two cars police say were racing each other right in front of a Duluth police officer on patrol. When the officer turns on his lights and sirens, the driver in the white Nissan decides to start a police chase. Duluth police say speeds top more than 90 miles per hour. The department continues to crack down on street racing and speeding within city limits. The officer kept his distance and then eventually called the chase off as the driver sped down Pleasant Hill Road Saturday night. The driver thought he got away, but within minutes, another officer spotted the white Nissan parked at Walmart. Out now! Out! Police drew their guns as they approached the driver and the passenger. Get on the ground now! The driver, identified as 21-year-old Tyler Lee, apologized to the officer, but at that point, it was too late. What are you doing? I don't know, sir. You're going to get pulled over for racing, and then you're going to take off? Hey, now you got a felony. Congratulations. Police also found a gun in the car, along with an energy drink bottle they say had alcohol in it. We've covered several deadly and serious injury crashes in Duluth on and near Peachtree Industrial Boulevard this year that police say were caused by speeding. Duluth police say they have zero tolerance for street racing and speeding, and trying to escape only makes it worse. And you're going to try to run when we pull up on you? Where are you going to go? Now, the passenger and the driver were arrested. The driver is now facing multiple felonies. He told police he didn't want to stop because he had less than an ounce of marijuana in the car, but police told him that wouldn't even have led to any drug charges. Live in Gwinnett County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News.